Okay, so let's try this one just to emphasize the mole concept, right? So, just looking at the periodic table, um, how much, how many grams does one mole of each of these things weigh? Um, so if you look at the periodic table, Na, of course, is sodium. So look at the mass number of sodium, or uh, the atomic mass of sodium, and you'll see that it's 22.9 Dalton. So remember our conversion factor that we just learned, right? So that's going to be, per mole of sodium, it's going to be 22.99 grams of sodium per mole. Of sodium. Okay. What about calcium? What's that going to weigh um, in grams per mole? So it's going to weigh, well, its atomic weight is 40.08, so it's going to weigh 40.08 grams for every one mole of calcium. And then, of course, sulfur, hopefully you're getting this by now, it'll just be 32.07 grams, and this is per mole. So for every one mole of calcium that you have, you're going to have 40.08 grams of it. Okay, so grams per mole, grams per mole. And then it asks, so this is, what's the molar mass of it, we could say. And then how many atoms? are in each of these samples. How many atoms do you have if you've got one mole or 22.99 grams of sodium? Either way, well, you've got 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd sodium atoms. What if you had 40.08 grams of uh, calcium? Well, that's how much one mole weighs, so you must have one mole. So if you got one mole, you got 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd calcium. Because why? Because the number 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd is a mole. That's what that means. And then of course, if you've got 32.07 grams of sulfur, then you must have 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd sulfur. Atoms. Okay, so one mole is uh, the same number of grams, the weighs the same number of grams as one atom weighs in Dalton that you see on the periodic table, or the average mass of one atom that you see on, on the periodic table. Um, and one mole always contains 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd of anything.